Have you guys ever wondered what Minecraft would be like with centaurs, cyclopses, gigantes, gerons, gorgons, maybe even unicorns? Well, today we are going to be going over the Greek fantasy mod, and it adds in all of those and more. It adds in so many structures, it adds in some amazing mob bosses, and it is just a very, very slept on and unheard of mod as of the moment. So, today, we're going to be going through that, so make sure to stick around if you want to know all about this mod, because I highly recommend it. Some of these mob bosses are going to blow your mind. So, as I was saying guys, we're going to be going over the Greek fantasy mod today, and it adds in so much stuff. Um... There are structures, there's even a sort of a new biome, but we'll go over that later. There are some new mob bosses as well, which you have to specifically perform tasks to spawn them in. They're amazing as well, extremely detailed for what I think is like quite a small mod as of now. Uh, as of recording this, it's only got about 25,000 downloads, which in the Minecraft mod world is fairly small. So, guys, it's going to be a good one today. I am wearing the currently only armor set from this mod, which is the snake armor set. It's snake skin, and you get this from killing one of the mini bosses in the mod, which is also found in one of the structures, but we'll cover that later. Now, guys, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and slap that like button. Your support on the channel means the world to me and it just really helps out just with the channel getting more recognized so I can do more videos like this for you guys. Now as I was saying this mod adds in a few more structures and one of the structures is down here it is the satyr camp home to the satyrs of the woods. Now you will find these structures actually everywhere not just in the woods and they love to play their little bagpipes look at them go. They are loving a bit of life, and they are quite detailed as well, which I think is a fantastic added bonus. Another structure you'll find in the world are these limestone and marble sort of structures. They are miniature temples, view them like that, and they have statues within them. Now, you can position these statues however you want, genderize them, you can do whatever you want with the structures, uh, statues and there are multiple different ones if you don't like how your statue is just reset it or mix it up do any one of the presets it's really up to you now the other sort of structures added into this mod guys are the Ara camp which are home to the Ara outcasts uh, as I just showed you some small shrines there's a harpy's nest a python pit the olive tree biome and yeah, they're just all pretty amazing and awesome. So let's go explore and find some more of these structures. So what I probably should point out is I'm wearing uh, these boots, which uh, are winged sandals. And they are from one of the Greek gods, which has currently slipped my mind. Hermes, that's it. And it gives you a jump boost, uh, quite a large jump boost as well. It's pretty significant. And down here, oh, we have one of the mobs. Unicorns! Who doesn't want a unicorn in their mod? It's awesome. So here is one of the, what they call is a first structure or a structure. It's the olive trees. These are found in warm biomes and this is called the olive forest biome. That's the way to look at it. And tend to, around these places, find another structure, the harpy's nest. These half bird, half women who just pretty much want to eat your entrails that is their overall goal they are just out here to eat you so that is why you'll tend to sort of find them near villages this one being specifically on top of a village just for its prey fantastic stuff you will tend to find them in pairs as i said they are half bird half female found in nests that appear in most biomes uh and uh if you don't know what entrails are I'm not going to explain them to you. <laughs> Pretty gruesome stuff. Uh, they drop feathers and or magic feathers. So, pretty good drops used to create these boots here. 
So that is the first structure. Let's go see what else we can find. Up in the mountain biomes, you will find these gentle giants. These are called the Gigante. Now, they spawn in with a few variants of weapons, which we will take a look at here. We have the Iron Club, Stone Club, and just plain Wooden Club. Now, these guys are gentle, but if you do attack them, they will not fret to attack you back, and they are strong and should not be messed with. Now they do drop though the Gigante head, which is going to come in very useful later with spawning in one of the bosses, but as I said, we'll go over that later. Another mob found up in the mountain region are the Cyclopses. Unlike their Gigante counterparts, these are not friendly in the slightest and will attack you on sight. They drop Steaxian shards, which are used for crafting certain materials within the mod. So if we take a look at those, if I can find them, uh, do, 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 do. let's see if I can spell it properly, and that'd be a good thing. Seaxian, there we go. So they will drop these bad boys, which, as I said, useful for crafting certain items within the mod. Centaurs are found mainly roaming the grasslands. They are half man, half horse, and are phenomenal. At archery. Their drops include leather and arrows, but be aware when attacking one, the rest will gang up on you and their range is quite significant, so be prepared to not just fight one, but fight the pack. Drakanaya are snake monsters with three deadly variants. They come in red, green, and brown. They do tend to burn in the sunlight though, as witnessed just there. Their drops include snake skin and snake fangs. So the snake skin, what we can use to craft our armor, and then snake fangs as well for more potion crafting items. The gorgons next, or more commonly known as Medusa, curse snake women so terrifying that anyone who looks upon their face will freeze in place, unable to move or even use items. Yet again, these mobs drop snake skin used to craft the armor we are currently wearing. I do hope that this mod adds in some more variants within the drops for some of these mobs, or perhaps a different and more varied armor sets for each mob. Maybe a different type of snake skin armor for each one can just maybe have the color or skin changed of it. But these gorgons are terrifying and not to be messed with. Now we move on to the water dwelling mobs. First up, we have the Neaid. These are gentle protectors of rivers and oceans, sometimes wield tridents. They drop cod and prismarine. Their less friendly counterparts though are the sirens, half woman, half fish. Terrible at singing. Keep your eyes on them. They will attack you when you least expect it. They drop half a fish. This mod also adds in the Greek god Pantheons, including Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon as of now. Currently, you can only gain favor with Zeus, the main god, the god of gods as they called him, and you will be rewarded or punished according to your favor. You need to start by crafting a mirror, which I have here, which is very easy to craft. It's just one gold ingot and one glass pane. You use the mirror to see your favor with each god. So you don't have to just gain favor with one god, you can gain favor with them all when they include favors with Poseidon and Hades. As I said, currently you can only gain favor with Zeus. And you can gain or lose favor by the mobs that you kill and the mobs that you leave alone, harvest. So there's two ways to gain favor. You give them items or you kill the specific Creature, gods will occasionally do special things for you. They may grant potion effects, give items, or spawn enemies depending on your level of favor. Now, just to gain favor, just to show you how it works, and I am absolutely rapid because I've still got those boots on, let's pretend I have a stack of Never Stars, and we are just going to have to drop them as Zeus's feet here, and you can see my level go up and up and up, and currently it maxes out at... 1920 apparently or 
yeah, it's, it's a bit odd. It says out of 2,000, but for some reason, only if we get to that. Oh, well, there you go. So, to see our favor currently, we can go to here. Or oh, maybe I've just got to keep maxing it up. Let's keep going with it. I'm now interested to see if we can keep going and get any higher. Spam clicking to the max. No, as of now, not overly. So we can now see our favors and what gives the most favor. So the reason I picked Neverstar is because it currently gives the most favor. All, these are all the items you can give to the statue um, to gain favor. These are the entities uh, favor rankings. So Giant Boar is 15, Gorgon 8, so on and so forth. But if you kill centaurs or doyads or even unicorns, don't kill a unicorn. If you kill an Epis, it's minus 20. Whereas we can't actually see the favor modifiers for these guys, but I would be very intrigued to see what they would be. But as you can see now, they're a work in progress. But go on, go worship Zeus, I guess. He's a great Greek god. So these are the Pantheon guys. Pick your side. While we're out of the ocean, I thought I should show you guys the first mob boss in this mod. It is the Charybdis. It is a dangerous, I really hope I pronounced it correctly. It is a dangerous whirlpool monster summoned by feeding a heart of the sea to a whirlpool. You just need to drop the item nearby. This mob here sports 160 health, if I am remembering correctly. Uh, yep, 160 health. Dangerous creatures, they will suck you in and they drop treasure chests which include gold, maps, emeralds and others. And a conch, yes, from Spongebob. I don't, it's not really from Spongebob but that's just what it reminds me. The conch from Spongebob. As you can see, it's currently sucking in any siren that gets too close to it. It has no fear about what it will eat or consume. It's not partial. But there you go, guys. That is the first mob boss we are going to look at today. And let's get on with some of the others. Next up, we are going to look at one of the mini bosses, the giant boar. Pretty much a hoglin on steroids, as described by their wiki. Giant boars are created when feeding a hoglin a poisonous potato. But outside of the nether it can't be within the nether guys so if you've got a nether portal open just try to lure one of these bad boys through and if you think hoglins are hard enough to fight on their own now imagine one of these go on there you go this thing absolutely massive that sheep looks terrified i don't blame you i would be too and these guys have 80 health now it is only double that of a hoglin but you as you guys know hoglins are extremely hard to kill as it is now the giant boar drops boar ear boar tusk and pork chops of course it drops pork chops as to be done next up we have the mini boss the python now these are huge venomous snakes found in abandoned pits in the jungle that look like mini pyramids. Here's one for example. All you gotta do, jump down into there. This is the only mob you don't have to spawn in. You are unlucky. That sucks to be you. And they have a few chests around with a few low level drops. Sporting 70 HP, it is stated on their site that it is a work in progress. So I do expect a bit more to come from this mob. And I'm, ex I'm expecting something to happen with this button. But apparently not. <laughs> but there is the python. The next mob boss we're going to look at is Cerberus, the three-headed hound of the underworld. To summon this guy, you must build a 4x4 hollow frame of blackstone blocks with a 2x2 two two of lava in the middle. Then you've got to sacrifice the head of Orthus. Now this mob is found in the nether, but we're just going to spawn it in the overworld for ease as of now. Oh, let's change the weather. It's great when that happens. Uh, da, da, da. Let's clear that forever. Um, so yeah, so this guy spawns in wherever he's gone, the nether. And you find him there, kill him, and you get his head. And then all you've got to do, you've got to throw this head in there, and boom, the three-headed hound of Hades will appear from the lava, turning the lava into magma blocks. 
Now, this guy has 120 HP, and it drops Fiery Hide and the Cerberus Head, which you can see duh, 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 here. Pretty, pretty cool looking head, if I do say so. So you can view some of these as trophies. Don't get too afraid, guy. And 120 HP, not a mob to be trifled with lightly. The next mob boss we're going to spawn is the Garon. Now, to spawn this guy in, as I mentioned earlier, you are going to need the Gigante head to spawn this mob boss in. Now, this mob boss is one of my favourite looking ones. It's a three-headed giant who only whose only passion is to herd mad cows now this is the exact formation you've got to place the gigante head so you need three of them you lure the cow into the middle you kill the cow got to be in the middle like that can't be around the outside or whatnot and then the geron spawns in yet again not a guy to be messed with dude's got three heads and a massive club he's pretty much king of the gigantes essentially uh but he does only want to spawn mad cows which is another mob in this mod and the cows pretty much look the same they're just mad i guess it look they look pretty pretty insane but yes this is one of my favorite mob bosses in this mod i want to know guys what your favorite mob boss is as well so don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below what one you love the most thus far the final mob boss we are going to look at today is talos a brass automaton that will devastate any player foolish enough to build it yes this guy means business to summon talos place it three by two gold blocks and place an eco infused block on top watch out that dispenser on his arm isn't just for looks you will you will see you will see what I mean. Uh, so this is the eco-infused block. Just place it on top like that. And Talos, the automaton, will spawn in. And yeah, I think he looks pretty, pretty awesome. He is definitely my second favorite next to Greyon. And he has 150 HP. Now, let's see if I can get a mob in here that he will attack. Because I want you to see the his ability because it's pretty pretty gosh damn awesome so i'm hoping he's going to attack a cyclops let's let's see potentially not a fan of it well i'm gonna have to spawn in i'm gonna have to change game mode and he's gonna have to fire upon me i guess so let's do it let's see if he will use the arm attack there you go <laughs> he shoots arrows out of it so what he drops is the Talos Heart. Oh, everyone's coming after me. Eka, gold, and arrows, obviously, because he's shooting a lot of arrows. And no, you stay the hell away from me, bro. Not today. Well, there you go, guys. That is a brief summary. Well, I say brief. Who knows how long this has gone on for? A summary of the Greek fantasy mod. Let me know what you think about this mod in the comment section down below. Personally, I love this mod and can't wait for more updates for this mod to come out. Just think, the mob battles with some of these mods are going to be a mad one but let me know what you're most excited for as well to see in a mob battle guys and as someone as sean delavin commented i should probably start doing polls uh to vote for mob battles as well if that's something you guys would like let me know as well and i will start doing that as always thank you very much for watching today guys until next time see ya